Hi everyone, this is Haruki. Uh, looks like I never actually made a simple build guide on how to put together the wireless paper. Uh, so uh, here's hopefully an easy way to put it together so you're not trying to guess and figure it out. So first off, we have the main body. We have the cover, middle frame, the two buttons, one of them has a square and the other one's kind of like a triangle. That's the user button and that's the reset button. And of course, the strike uh, pins. You're gonna need your 3000 milliamp battery, which will be this one. You can use this one or you can use the one from uh, Maker Focus. And of course, your wireless paper node. Let's, let's open that up for you. All right. So the things we're gonna need from the package are, we don't need the plexiglass, don't throw that out. We don't also need any of the, of the screws or the battery cable, all right? So all we're looking for is just the antennas and of course the node. There you go. All right, so what do we do first? First thing is you're gonna make sure to put in your buttons. There you go. That's the user button. If I flip it, so uh, when you're printing this, make sure there's enough tolerance on your printer because it should technically fall off. If you flip it. If it doesn't fall off, that means there's too much uh, uh, inconsistencies here on the on the corners, and you may want to file it down a little. In this case, it's just perfect for my printer. Next, the reset button. All right, reset button. Simple enough. Next up, you're gonna put in your wireless paper. Make sure the USB goes first. There you go. Should fit light and snug. Oh, wait, one more thing I just forgot. Make sure to take the the cover off the, the node. Give me a second. All right. All right, I took that off. Perfect. Now let's put it back in. All right, should fit perfectly. Next up, we set this aside and we work on this. So this right here, if you look through, there's like a little bar in between. If you look at the strike pin, it has a notch that has to fit right in there. Now, the way I do it is, you're gonna set, set your uh, frame down, you're gonna align the strike pin, like so. Let me zoom in. Okay. And I usually use a plier, like a, one of these pliers. I just push it, push it down until it clicks. There you go. You heard that click? That means that that fits perfectly now. So technically, this should freely rotate in that bar. See how it just moves? All right. We're going to do the same thing for the other one. Okay, I set it in the middle and then I press hard until it clicks. There you go. And again, I'm gonna make sure it freely moves by using the plier and just spinning it in its axis. All right, both of them freely move. All right, that should be it for that. So now we bring our case back. We're gonna set the pins. So see how like there's a little notch right there? 
it sticks out, that's what's going to strike the buttons. So we're going to set it down and push it down. All right. That should be about it. If you want to test it, if it works, hold the frame with your fingers and just click the buttons. See how it presses with no problems? Same thing here. All right, that means that works. Now, we're going to go ahead and put our antenna. Make sure to align it properly. I use the plier again to kind of push it in. There you go. Perfect. There's a little notch here. I just press the cable there. And oh, forgot to take off the screws. There you go. So now we're just going to go ahead and pass the antenna where it's supposed to go through. You can use your plier to push it into place. There you go. See how like there's a hexagon uh, indent? It should fit right in. Next up, we're going to put in the rings. There you go. And of course, the nut. Okay. Make sure to properly tighten it. All right, and of course, put your antenna. Okay, we got it that far. Now we have to connect the, the battery. All right, that's connected. And we're gonna grab the cable and set, set the battery in there. If you can, try to stuff the, the, the excess cable inside this side. Okay, now all we do is put the cover, make sure this side go for, goes first. All right, you're gonna hold it. You're gonna press on the corners until every corner is fully in. There's some pressure that you're gonna put in. But once you do, it should snap fit perfectly. There you go. All right. And that should do it. If you press the user button or reset button, it should work. By the way, I made sure that the reset button is recessed inside so you're not pressing it by mistake. The user button slightly notched out. That way it's easy to touch and feel that's the user button instead of the reset. And uh, actually, I might just have to flash it here. Grab your user, USB. You're going to go into Meshtastic. Use the flasher and select the wireless paper. And just flash it. OK, it should be just about finished flashing. Let's see. Here you go, Meshtastic is loaded and you're all set.